Alright, hi, and welcome back everybody. As I said last time, we are at... So, you may remember, we just got done dealing with the stuff on the Aurora. We were also gathering some resources when we were very rudely <laughs> interrupted. Um, but, like I said last time, have you ever had that, that, that moment where you call someone and, um, and, uh, <laughs> it just goes, The person's mailbox that you're trying to call is full! You cannot leave a message. Go fuck yourself. That's about where we're. That's pretty much what we're up to now. So we're gonna go ahead and start answering some of these. While that happens, we'll go ahead and make ourselves a rebreather. Now that the radiation is done. Dealt with. Oh, that's not very uh, comforting. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we made other plans. Uh, anybody else? Oh. Huh. Maybe we have to actually, like, go out for a little bit. Welcome aboard, and wait Captain. for a new one. So, in that case, you guys may remember, we've been to a couple of biomes pretty frequently. We've done a lot of the safe shallows, which is this. Um, you guys have seen the kelp forest a fair amount, as well as the, um, the grassy, uh, plateaus. But now that we have the rebreather and now that we have the sea moth, we can, first of all, take a closer look at that mushroom bi uh, the mushroom forest biome or whatever. I think that's what it is. Cause that place is pretty cool and probably has a couple things uh, that we might not have grabbed. You never know. And if we don't find anything interesting there, we can also go check out the, I think it's called the Bulb Biome now. It used to be the Kush Biome, some of you might know it as. That place is really, really cool, and we haven't been there at all yet, so there's bound to be something there that we could use. But, now that we have the Mark 1 structural upgrade for this, we can actually go reasonably, reasonably kind of down, or at least enough so that we can actually start looking at some cool stuff. I don't... Let's see if the battery seems to go down faster with the lights on, because I don't actually know if that's a thing. Let's make sure we're still going the right direction while ducking and dodging this shark dude who's a massive asshole. Alright, yeah, it should be... Or wait. Well, that's the floating islands. That's why we're seeing shark dudes. Alright. Let's try cutting back in this way a little bit. Maybe it's over here. Ooh, that looks weird. Oh shit, sorry buddy. Is it down here? Mushroom trees? Oh, mushroom trees, oh, mushroom trees. Oh wait, this is the f How did we end up at the fucking island? Oh my god, we went really far off course. <laughs> oh, no wonder. I was wondering why we started seeing bone sharks so quickly. There goes a bunch of floaters! <laughs> I can actually show you guys those later. I went ahead and grabbed like two of them while I was gathering resources because they're they're kind of fun to look at. They're kind of fun to play around with. I've seen somebody else troll a fish with one of them, so we'll try to pull that off. Oh, there's a bone shark. <laughs> you can have it! So let's see what we got going on over here. Anything interesting? Uh, we could also do with grabbing some lithium if we find it. Because we pretty much used all the stuff we had managed to find before. <clears throat> but luckily, there's usually a fair amount of it down in this area. I don't know what about this area is, like, high lithium. But I, I appreciate it. <laughs> you know what? We have storage on our uh, sea moth now. Let's go ahead and start grabbing some eggs while we're out. Because here soon I have a feeling we'll probably start getting towards uh, alien containment and possibly being able to research some of these some of these little guys up close. Because yeah, you can find eggs all over the place, lots of different biomes and a lot of and like a lot of them it kind of makes sense when you look at the egg. Like you look at the egg you're like, oh yeah, I know what that is. But then there's other ones where it's like, I have no fucking idea what you're going to be. 
And I found out you can actually grow, like, raise a couple of the more dangerous fish. I don't know if they ever get bigger than they were in my tank. I guess I could always go leave that save file running for a little bit and find out, do some tests. But we'll probably get there in this anyway, so might as well just let it come naturally. Oop. <laughs> oh. We don't want to do much more of that. All right, now, there's usually fragments in these areas. A lot of times they're kind of sitting up on the hills. So let's see. There's a different kind of creature egg. Go ahead and grab that. Wait, is that a fucking... Oh, shit. It's always nice to keep this thing as close to full as possible because you never know when <laughs> you're going to take a lot of damage really quick. Like that fucking guy. Jesus, dude, calm down. Those are more manta eggs. There's another of those ones we just got. I have no idea what the fuck that's going to be. <laughs> uh, how are we doing on lithium? Scrap, like, I don't know. I'll try to get like maybe four more. And we'll stuff it all in the uh, the sea moth. But look at this area; it just looks so nice. I always enjoy exploring this area. I I just knew I had to show it to you guys because it's really really well done. Um, lithium, come out and play. Huh. Maybe I'm just swimming. I'm probably just going in a circle here. So I probably already grabbed everything in this little area. I really need to get better at not just fucking crashing into everything. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Oh, shit. That didn't sound friendly, whatever it was. You can see there's more sand sharks hanging around. Or bone I think those are bone. Ah whoa! Woohoo! That made me jump. Fuck I didn't think they were behind us. Am I just going in circles? I feel like I'm just going in circles. Shit! Let's go ahead and fix that up real quick. Sorry, I'm I'm so fucking bad at this. Eh? Alright, so Alpha Base is kind of directly that way. So let's let's go this way and try to skirt on the edge of the... Let's try to find, like, the edge of the biome and skirt along it and see if we find anything there. So I'm not having a luck... I'm not having a lot of luck, like, inside the mushroom forest itself. I remember, I think we got some of the Cyclops fragments when we, when we were briefly down here. So there might... Might just not be a whole lot left after that, I, I suppose. Wait, we're heading towards the energy pulse now. We don't want to do that. Okay. So, I've been in there very briefly before. That's what's called the blood kelp. Oh. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Hello there! Alright, so those are the weird spider brain things. I don't know if I've ever mentioned them. Uh, they're dicks. That other thing there was a warper. I think they're just having a battle royale right now. I know I've seen them fight once or twice. Uh, down there are weird eel things that just, like, fucking explode electricity. So, uh... Yeah, we're probably gonna wait till we have... Slightly better vehicle to try to deal with that shit. I'm surprised I saw a fucking brain this close. I really was not expecting that. Ooh. I need to stop just scaring the shit out of myself like that. Okay, I don't like those sounds. <laughs> I don't like those sounds! Which direction is the base? Oh my fucking god. So let's keep going this way a little bit. Holy shit, yeah, I really can't believe we saw one of those right there. And the blood kelp. I didn't know the blood kelp was right there either. Okay. This looks like the edge of the mushroom biome then. 
There's some metal. More titanium. Or not titanium, lithium. There's titanium as well, <laughs> which we can certainly do. I mean, you can always use more titanium. Oh, wow, I forgot how fucking big those things are. So, yeah, let's skirt along over here and see. Like, what's that? That could be something. Uh, scanner room. We have to have that one, right? Yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm terrible at remembering things. <laughs> Even if it's only been like a fucking hour. Uh, so that'll be scanner room as well. Oh! I think that means we just got another transmission, so we can go check that out once we're done here. I just... I feel like there's gotta be some cool fragments out here. What is that? What is that? <gasps> Nuclear reactor? Oh, fuck! Fuck! Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! You can see there's blood kelp down there, so we're not gonna go into blood kelp. We're not ready for that. We need to either upgrade the shit out of this, or, uh, try in something else. Oh, vehicle upgrade console, thank fuck! Yes! And we finished it, now we just need a moon pool to put it in. If we get a moon pool, we're fucking gold. Uh, I don't know if moon pool would be out here. I don't even know where the fuck here is. So blood kelp is still down there. We're having sand sharks here though. They're usually in pretty friendly biomes. But I'm getting a really sinking feeling that this is not going to be a friendly biome. Maybe we turn off the light unless we absolutely need it. I feel like that draws attention. I don't. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms. No, it is not worth it. I'm out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Peter Lady. I won't do it again. I'll just sneakily try to grab this if it's not a vehicle upgrade station. Well, you know, fuck it. Titanium. She said multiple Leviathan class life forms is what you're doing worth it. Did you? I just want to make that clear. Did we all hear that? Are you sure? <laughs> You want to go here because you're about to get you're about to get fucked in lightning terms. And no. <laughs> no we do not. We will come back with a cyclops. We will feel much safer. Because I still I still have the illusion, like I might have said before, that the Cyclops is invincible. I know it has a health bar, but my Cyclops never had its health bar move. So I'm feeling pretty confident on that. Unless, of course, there's just some horrible things that I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, do we have whatever this is? Thermal plant. Now we do! Oh, that's just another thermal plant. Nice, so we've got one towards the nuclear. We've got the vehicle upgrade station. Yeah, we just really need a um, moon pool now. And I'm pretty sure we have to go to the sp bar steps for that, maybe? Man, I don't not like the fucking sounds that are coming out of this right now. <laughs> uh... yeah, it's a little spooky. Let's head back along this way. I think the spark... Reef will probably be this direction. We can maybe... We've got a little bit of room. We can maybe skim past it on our way home. But avoid the shit out of the <laughs> multiple Leviathan class creatures. Because I've noticed she doesn't take the time to warn us about much. So I feel like the stuff she does warn us about is probably pretty... I fucking hate when it does that. Oh, okay. Now it's loading in. I thought it was one of those just sheer drops into nothing. It just requires you to firmly shit your pants. Was that the fucking Jason noise? Did you hear a... Ah, ah, ah. The fuck? <laughs> ooh. Ooh. I was really happy seeing that guy who just seemed like dumbfounded looking at the sand. You know, like he had that look of like a little kid looking at a... Uh, an ice cream cone, 
and then Reaper had to come and ruin the fuzzy moment. <laughs> so, I wonder if when it said multiple Leviathan class, I wonder if it meant multiple Reapers? Or are there like multiple different kinds all chilling out there waiting to fuck my day? And there's some little fucking blood bleeders. What the fuck is that sound? This is playing some weird sounds today. Alright, so, skirt. Oh. Well, at least we know Leviathans don't hang out at the grassy plateaus. Or at least I've been lucky enough to not see them at the. Unless that place next to the Aurora was gla grassy plateaus. I, I suppose that could be, could be a thing. More floaters. And yeah, you can see, they like to attach themselves to shit. And if you get enough of them on the same object, like, it'll just go fucking skyward. Like, I know I have seen rocks, like, floating at surface level with just, like, 20 of those things stuck to them. <laughs> so I think they, like, random spawn in packs, and then just sometimes, th sometimes they'll find an object, sometimes they'll just all be floating at the surface. Um... Alright, well, we're making it pretty far out. We've still got food and water, and I always keep some spare in the sea moth, so we can go a bit further. But I would like to try to find the sparse depths. More creepy music. Oh! I think these green patches signify sparse depths, so I think we're actually right where we wanted to be. And while there's not a super ton to look at here, Ooh. <laughs> you might notice that it's pretty open, so it should be fairly easy to spot any blueprints that are here. Though we might actually have to find a wreck for that. But if it's here, we'll find it! Fuck me, you don't have to move that quick, bro. Holy shit. Oh my god, he's gonna... Alright, that's gonna give me a fucking heart attack. I think the sparse de depths, er, yeah, it continues lower. Or sparse reef. Sparse reef? Am I? I don't want to quite go to the deep reef yet. Okay, no, this is right. This is right. I was worried it was about to take us to the deep reef. Because that's another one of those things I feel like we should probably do it in the prawn. Alright, I'm not seeing anything aggressive yet. That's a good sign. Oh, is that a fragment maybe? Push. Push, push, push. <clears throat> yeah, this is this area is not too bad. I wish there was maybe like a different type Ooh. I wish there was like maybe a unique type of flora that only showed up here or something. <clears throat> Cause the only things I've seen here that really kind of stick out are these. And I don't remember if you can actually harvest them. Alright. It's kind of eerie that we're not seeing any aggressive creatures. Oh, fuck. Here's the... Moon pool! One of two. Oh, that looks like moon pool as well. Ding, ding, ding! Da -da 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 -da. Uh, more moon pool. Just dick loads and dick loads of moon pool. Let's move this up. Cause it's always nice to have the oxygen close. I probably have that table, right? Yep. Alright, what else can we get here? We have those. Uh, those are basically deployable lights that are battery powered, so you can um, get by with uh, pretty much setting up light wherever you want, which is always really, really cool. Wow, I think this was just like Moonpool Central. Maybe there's not going to be anything else here, but it just wanted to guarantee that if you found the spot, you got all of them. <laughs> and I can get behind that. But, uh, yeah. It looks like we can go inside there, so let's bring this around in front so we can get some light. And 
this should do us over nicely. And that door we can't open. We can do a welding tool job there. Nothing else it looks like, so let's go ahead and equip that. Beep, 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 beep. Reminds me of, uh, what was it? I think it was Alien Colonial Marines where you could, like, weld doors shut. Actually, I think there's been a couple of games where you could do stuff like that. It's always nice when they do some cool animations like this, though. Woo! Nutrient block. We will never, like, I would be happy if we, oh, fuck it, I, I would have been happy with just one of those. PDA would be cool, though, maybe. Maybe? No, doesn't look like it. We can't get through that door. There's no vents. So it looks like that's gonna be about as far as we get to go. But to be fair, it is a little little kind of babby wreck. Um, and actually, that's that door we can see that we couldn't open. We're not gonna be able to get deeper down there at the moment, I don't think. But I can quickly pop out and see if there's a fragment here. Moon pool. Moon pool. Can we see anything from here? No, we cannot. All right, back to the sea moth. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. Well, that's that's been all. Ooh, what is this? How did I miss that before? Oh yeah, mercury! So, I have found maybe like two pieces of mercury in my previous dicking around. We're, and by the way, we're getting pretty close to being caught up to where I had gotten before. Um, I have seen the bulb biome and I have seen the jelly mushrooms a little up more up close. I've spent a tiny, tiny little bit of time in the reef. Um, I know that that's where we need to get our modification station, which we really could do with getting. Um, there's also, I wonder if we'll be able to see it from here. Let's, let's go straight up. I wonder if we can get air in this like we can with the sea glide. Let's check. I can't look down to see if we... Oh, that was definitely some air time. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Alright, so we want a clean inventory for that. And you can see it's pretty much straight back from the Aurora. Um, we got the moon pool, though, so we can upgrade this and maybe get some better upgrades for it real quick. We can also probably do with grabbing a couple of beacons, or at least one, so we can just kind of mark this. That island is really cool because it kind of marks where the sparse reefs hits the uh, the, the grand reefs. Um, so we'll make sure to do that. I know we've got not a full inventory at the moment. You know what? Let's let's see if we can quickly maybe steal a cheeky. Actually, that's gonna take a while to do. All right. You know what? We'll just go ahead and cut it here for now. Um, we'll go ahead, we will go back, we will work on the moon pool, get that set up real quick so we can upgrade this. And first thing after we do that is we will see what our next call is that came in while we were gone. Because that's another thing, we might as well go get that updated so that it'll keep searching for more. Um, and then we will, after maybe checking out that beacon if it's in the right direction, I would really like to go to that island, um, that floating island, we should probably... You know what? I think we'll do that next time. We'll go ahead and we'll do the floating island next time. Because I, I know there's some pretty cool stuff up there. Um, I think it has more of the head crabs. But other than that, it's just a lot of really, really cool flavor story stuff. And uh, with the exception of that one pod that we went and did, we haven't, haven't had as much of that as I would have liked. We've been mostly focusing on uh, getting some of our early items, getting our sea moth, of course, so that we can actually get around quicker and be able to spend more time looking at these flavor things that, that we want to get in there and, and get a good look at. Um, and we will also, uh, like I said before, we're going to go ahead, we'll probably do it, I think we'll do it after the island episode. So what we'll do is we will 
go do the island episode, um, grab everything that we can out there. We'll come back here and we will take time to go ahead and read through our PDA and see all of these wonderful data banks that we have collected so far. Because we've gotten a fair amount of them and I know we'll get more on the island. So it's always good to, you know, stay caught up with that stuff so that we kind of know what's going on. Because at the moment, we fixed the Aurora to stop the radiation. Like, we understand why we did that. But as far as who these Degasi people are, we have no idea. We haven't spent any time learning about that. Um, and we also haven't really figured out what's going on with any of the fauna or any of the kind of biomes as much as I would have liked to. So we will make sure to take care of that uh, after the island. And yeah, thank you for joining me and I will see you all next time.